Good afternoon, guys. Hey, Neo. Neo, say hello. Sit. Neo, sit. Good boy. Right, so, my high lift jack. I need to mount it. I'm looking to have it as it stands like that, but it needs to be lifted up about probably to around here. This height here, where this bar is here, this plastic above the red light here. To, to get enough clearance to clear the bumper and to fit everything in or well, possibly midway but we'll see how I go along midway between here and the the bottom I need to lift it up I'm gonna run I'm gonna remove the tire and you'll see I've got these mountings that go into the door where I can run steel bar across and then mount my bracket onto the steel bar and take it from there and see so I'm going to take the tire off now and uh, we'll take a look at a bit of the internals there. Stick around. Alright, as you can see I've removed the rear spare and this bolt here and that bolt there. I'm going to run steel bar across here, steel bar across there. Maybe a third one. I don't know if it will be necessary but uh, maybe rather safe than sorry. You can see the profile on the side. Um, it'll actually it makes almost provision for steel bar coming through so the idea is to steel bar all the way past here so I can get an idea once everything's on and get my markings with a bracket that's gonna run perpendicular to the bar so yeah but first I need to make the uh, bracket still and uh, yeah I've actually bought a MIG welder for this job so uh, and an investment on hobbies later on I've got an arc welder, but my arc welding is not uh, fantastic, so I'm praying the uh, the MIG welder will be better. We'll see. All right, so first things first, I'm going to cut the bar and uh, the three pieces of bar, just in case I use three. And uh, let's start. <laughs> You can see I've cut the three bars. We'll end up drilling a hole here, 10 more hole. Well, whatever size those bolts are on the van, I'll have to check. And then uh, the bracket will be mounted this way. So this runs horizontally from the spare wheel bracket and the, um, the actual housing goes vertically across there. All right, I've trimmed the first as you can see in the corner here, it needs to be trimmed the edges and it's, it's snug in there and I've eyeballed the hole so that should be good to go drill a hole and we'll take it from there. Pilot hole done. As you can see, this has been mounted. It's pretty solid, not going anywhere. The only problem I've come up with is now this. That's the standard bolt that comes out there. It's a little short if you include this. So I use probably about another, I would say 10 more longer bolt to mount here. So this is, it's not going anywhere. So I think I'll do three. Why not? Rather safe than sorry. All right, here's the tin, the longer bolt. Pop it in there. And then into the, into the van. Difficult to video this end. Oops. Difficult to video and uh, line. 
I'll show you afterwards. Alright. We might have to do some side profiling here, bring it around here. I've got to put the tie on and see the clearance now. I think the tire actually comes to about here. So let me just check and have a look. All right, just to show you, it's gonna come here, the bracket. Okay, so three are mounted. So what I ended up doing was actually following the contour of the van. So it gives a bit more space. I mean, it's, it's costing me nothing extra to do that, just a bit of effort. And then uh, I'm going to trim this off with the bracket. So yeah, going well so far. Right, to give you an idea. So I've just clamped it on here. My dog's crazy about light. <laughs> Shadows. Anyway, so I'm going to open this. Oh, let's take a look the clearance all right that's as far as the door goes I'm now going to this clearance there I'm going to lock the door now the words latch it there we go that's in the lock position, in the open lock position, and I've got clearance everywhere here. So that is nice. Weld, weld, and weld. And uh, yeah, so far so good. As I mentioned, this is the welder I bought, a MIG welder. I'm going to unbox it quickly and we'll take a look how it looks inside. I'll have to set it up with the wiring and practice a bit before I start, you know, doing the the pretty stuff. Oh, ain't you pretty? Christmas has come early. Well, blown my budget. Blown my budget. Right. Lovely. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Take a look here. Snippity snip. Get the camera positioned right. Hold up. Right. And all the all the good stuff. I'll sort that out now. And that's it. She's quite big and heavy. So arc welding will do fine. I've got my old faithful arc welder at the bottom, but like I say, when I made the foot piece to hold the jack, um, you know, it's not pretty. Fortunately, it's underneath. You won't see this. You'll only see the front profile. So yeah, it's, it's not pretty, but it's functional. So I'm going to see if my MIG welding will do better. If not, I've got a bit of rust on the Pajero I need to well, cut out and weld new pieces in. And this is great for tacking uh, the bodywork. So, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I did angle iron. So as you can see, you just cut 45 degrees out, measure it up properly, and away you go. So, yeah. Anyway, for now, I'm happy. This has all been welded on really crazy like it's ugly but it's going to be behind the door so i'm not too concerned as long as the worlds are good you don't want the high lift jack to come up from the middle of the highway um so i had some tubing this is actually tubing that i used which i just welded the ends closed just to make that extra support on the base i'm sure there's a lot of simpler ways to make this but uh, the materials i had available um allows me for this uh, and then I still once it is mounted 
I need to do the neck, the support here for the top of the, or well, middle of the, the jack and uh, yeah, still pretty pleased with everything. Let me mount it and show you guys what it looks like so far. Put a bracket here so I can lock this onto the bracket and then there is a bit of play here so I'm going to secure it to the door either there there and there with rubbers behind here um, or maybe possibly this side here with a few rivnuts in there because it's just to stop this forward and backwards wobble it's not it's not for support essentially down support although it will help so yeah, pretty pleased about that. Let me put the tire on and check what the clearance is. Let's take a look at the clearance. I've got clearance all the way, nothing touching the light. Let me lock the door. Latch it like I did before. All right. So, it's the first time I've ever seen a mounting like this before, so I'm pretty chuffed with it. As I say, I'm going to put the, coming, extending from here, there's going to be a bracket coming over so I can stick a bolt through here with a lock on it, just for that extra support. And to prevent this forward and backwards wobble on the rack, I'm going to stick some rivet nuts in here and secure it to the door um, it doesn't take a lot of stress it'll handle it um, and the great thing about this being mounted close to the hinge um, it's not as much stress as if it would be on that side with leverage it'll be a lot more stressful on the hinge so i'm pretty pretty chuffed so all right this is the final product i'm pretty pleased with that I'm going to give it a spray of course and uh, what I've still got to do now is remount it um, I've made two holes to support these one here one there it's going to go into the back of the door just for that stability I'm using these little rivet nuts I don't have a rivet nut tool so I looked on YouTube and I saw this chap made something similar to this the process is the same um, it basically squashes up the the rev nut on the metal of the door which provides a thread for this um, let me mount it and uh, I'll see how it goes um, yeah drilling into the door now a little nervous but uh, we've got guides here so we just align it up drill through drill through it should be good all right, put it back on. All right, this is the, the business. Let's see if I can get an angle from here. There we go. All right, you just want to go through to the metal. Just the first sheet. first mark
go. I think my battery's a bit flat. Come on. Nope. Change battery time. Alright, let's try this again. This time with a, another drill. I am through. Through on the first one. On the second one. Now we're going to remove this and I'm going to drill bigger holes to accommodate the rivnuts. There we go. Now to tighten that up. All right, so the second hole went better. I did nick it a bit there as well, maybe use a bit of thicker tape, um, but I'm happy with that. I'll touch that up. Now what I'm gonna do is remount this and then put the bolts in and figure that out. The holes line up, the bolts go in, went down to the hardware and I got a simple door stopper one of these and uh, that's gonna go over there with a bolt through and that'll protect or take off some of the vibration I've got an old cam belt that I had lying around and this will do the trick marvelously for the back here I'm going to cut a piece off and mount it for a washer over there just over there and uh, that'll, that's the one. Here we go. Look at that. Very pleased with that. Very, very pleased. Right. She is mounted. Alright, all tight, nice and tight. Let's take a look if there's any play here. A solid, a solid, solid. This is going nowhere. It's going nowhere. Alright, so the next step now is to, I'm removing the bracket, I'm going to give it a spray plus this as well. Give it all a spray, nice and black, and then uh, replace and we'll eventually get to the final product. Alright, I've put, I've put everything back. Um, Giving it all a spray job. I like it, it's looking good. Um, now just to put the uh, the tire on and the jack. See you now. All right, well, I've made a decision. I've had a look at this. I can actually mount this further down because they're standing quite proud up top there, which I'm not really happy about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these welds neaten it up and bring this bracket down further so this comes down to just above the bumper here for clearance and then bring that down a bit so yeah let me do that yeah just when I thought I was finished <laughs> all right eventually we're done as you can see it's a lot lower which doesn't stand so proud up top there, which is great. Let me check the clearance. I've got more clearance. I've actually got a lot more clearance, so I'm really happy with this. 
Take them all the way. Let's take a look here. There we go, all the way. Lovely. So yeah, that's it. Good project. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe, as I said. Um, yeah, give me some comments, please. Is it nice? Is it terrible? What do you think? What you would do differently? Um, love the feedback. Right, guys, be safe out there and uh, happy days.